Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the demo and starting off I'm going to prime my eyes using my MAC Paint Pot and Paint Chili because it does have a little bit more of a pinky tone so I thought it would be perfect for this look today. So the first color I'm going to be using is Limit and I'm just going to take this on a nice fluffy brush and I'm going to run this through my crease. Next I'm going to be taking the color Dust and I'm going to apply this, well I tried applying it first with a flat shader brush and then I realized that was not working for me so I ended up just using my finger but I'm just applying this to the inner half of my lid. And here I am taking the color Buzz and I'm going to apply this on the outer half of my lid and kind of blending it in with that first shade. Next, I'm going to be taking the color Nooner and I'm going to apply this right into the crease and on the outer um, corner of my lid just to kind of give it some more definition. And lastly, I'm going to take the color Strange, and I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. Hey guys, so now we are going to actually talk about the palette a little bit. I figured you guys would probably want to see the demo first because if you're anything like me, I can be quite impatient when it comes to product reviews because if I'm watching a review on something that I'm super interested in and there's a demo involved, I typically want to see that first. So I thought I would go ahead and put that at the beginning instead of at the end. So now if you'd like to hear me chit chat about the palette, then just stay tuned. Alright, so they pretty much kept the packaging the same between the Naked 2 and the new one. So it's got more of this like tin can feeling. It's a lot more durable than the felt one that the first one came with. And I personally prefer this packaging. I think, again, it's very durable, really great for traveling. And um, yeah, and the only difference really is obviously the color. Um, and um, it looks like it's kind of got this like cinched in feel like ribbon to it. I don't know. I think it's cute. And, of course, when you open the palette, you get the ginormous mirror on the back, and then it also comes with a little dual-sided brush. It comes with, like, a fluffy side, kind of really good for the crease, and then a more pointy side, which will really help you highlight the inner corner or line your eyes. So, I really love the brushes. I love it when palettes come with brushes rather than liners, but that's just me. And now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an up-close of all of these gorgeous shades. Alright, so those were all the colors, and so far, um, that demo, it was actually the first time that I had used the palette, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think all of the shades in here are gorgeous. Um, I can definitely work this into an everyday look. And even though they're all kind of like pinky toned, it doesn't really look like you're wearing like a ton of pink eyeshadow because most people are probably like, when am I ever gonna wear pink eyeshadow? But it really, to me, does not look like it. I think it just looks really soft, very romantic, and very, very pretty. And I just also adore that they put a matte highlight shade because the other two palettes came with a highlight shade, but I believe they were both sparkly. I know the first one was, but I don't actually have Naked 2. And then, let's see here. Um, the color Dust is the only one that I kind of have a problem with. It's got some really 
chunky glitter in it so whenever you apply it there can be a lot of fallout and applying it with the brush I found really does not work and using your finger works 10 times better so and you get a lot more pigmentation from it with that so really love that and it's just got so many gorgeous shades and they're so different from the other two palettes and I'm just so excited to keep experimenting with this and I definitely think it's worth the hype. I love this palette and I cannot wait to use it just every single day and I'm probably going to for like the next like two weeks until I get sick of it or something but I really recommend it. I think it's going to be a great Christmas present um, if you are looking for a gift for a friend or for someone who loves makeup or for yourself. I think this would be really, really great. And yeah, so I didn't have too, too much to say about it. I do still need to do some experimenting with it. If you guys would like to see some holiday tutorials using the palette, just let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely do that for you. But I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.